Good everybody, Colin here with TechOut. Today we're going to be checking out the OnePlus 10 Pro 5G. And this is the American version. It did come out uh, a couple weeks ago. I've been out of the OnePlus game for a while. Um, so I've decided we're going to check it out again and give OnePlus another go. Um, now I have heard mixed reviews about the OnePlus um, 10 Pro, but a lot of those reviews were people reviewing the international version, which does run Color OS rather than Oxygen OS. Um, like the North American 10 Pro, um, which was the root of a lot of those issues. Um, so this is, of course, the only one you can get in the U.S. Uh, you have your two color options, um, forest green and volcanic black. This is the volcanic black. Um, as of right now, it's only available in 128 gigabytes of storage and 8 gigabytes of RAM, <coughs> which is kind of disappointing because OnePlus used to be known for their like, 256 uh, gig versions with 12 gigs of RAM. Um, but that being said, I never really used the full 12, gig 12 gigs of RAM, so not really a big issue. Um, I did pick this up on Amazon. It was like $8.95, um, so very good deal. I know Best Buy is running a deal right now where you get a $100 gift card, um, so you can usually save about $100 depending on where you get it or get $100 in credit. Um, but that being said, let's go ahead and get in the box here and see what we get um, because these versions are different between the North American model and the um, unlocked uh, carrier model, not the unlock, the unlocked models and the carrier models rather. Um, the carrier models are IPX rated, these are not, which I don't know why they would do that because I'm pretty sure it's the same hardware. Um, nothing in the top there. I do have a OnePlus little envelope right here, which is very high quality. Um, very nice unboxing experience so far. We have your welcome guide, I'm just going to pull this out. We have the Hasselblad branding down here. Um, this is a card. Um, yeah, it's got some. I'm not gonna open. It. It's got some writing on it and your SIM card on the back there. Quick start guide, safety information, and your OnePlus stickers. Gonna put this back. One cool thing about this phone is it does charge at 65 watts. Again, that is a limit of the North American model. The um, other ones do charge at 80 watts, but because the 110 charger is not capable of that, um, that's what you get for the North American model. So pull tab right here. I'm going to go ahead and put the phone off to the side for a second. We're going to check and see what else we get. I'm not used to having uh, something under the phone in the box because this is one of the last phones that comes with a charge brick. Um, so we do have the 65 watt Super Vuk. Uh, charger and this is actually an Oppo charger um, because Oppo does own OnePlus so they are using the Oppo chargers now. Um, I thought that they were using uh, USB-A to C but it looks like this is a C to C um, for the 65 watt brick. It may be the 80 that uses the um, USB-A. Under the red and white cable here that OnePlus is famous for there is also a little um, USB-C to USB-A adapter for transferring data and such on the phone. Um, so don't forget that is down there. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the box. I will be using these chargers normally. I don't open the chargers um, and stuff like that, but I will be using those because, again, you do get the 65 watt charging. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put the box back together real quick, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at the device itself. If I hit, hit the camera. Um, so we do have the phone here in this plastic um, and it does say right here, it does have the fingerprint sensor and it gives you the information about the fingerprint sensor right there and using other screen protectors. Um, recommending you only use official OnePlus screen protectors and ones from their official partners so it doesn't affect that uh, fingerprint sensor. And on the back here, we have a little square that tells you where the NFC detection area is as well as a wireless charging diagram so you know where all that is as well. And then uh, notice for the SIM tray right here. Um, don't disassemble the back cover, not responsible for any damage, blah, 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 disclaimers. So we're going to go ahead and take this off. Alright, and we do have a little bit of dust on the screen there. I think that's from the cardboard in the box. Uh, one first things first is we do have a pre-installed uh, pre screen protector, which I was curious about. It did say we had that on the website, but sometimes that is different between the carrier and the unlocked models and the overseas models and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this little sticker off that has the uh, IMEI on it and just stick that to the box. 
Um, very nice color. It is almost like a glittery black. Um, when you see this online, it almost looks like it's going to be like a rubberized kind of, almost like their sandstone case kind of feel. It is not. It is a frosted glass, um, but it is very nice um, looking. It does get kind of reflective in the light, which is nice. It's not, not slippery or anything like that. It's not glossy. It does have a little bit of texture to it, but it's not... Um, not what it looks like on the website. Not in a bad way, I'm just saying it, it's not like that rubberized kind of look that it has appearance on the website. Um, we have your camera up here, which in one video somebody said it looks like they partnered with Kenmore because um, it looks like a four burner stove, which they're not wrong. Um, but it's not too bad. I don't really mind camera bumps and stuff like that on the phones. Um, not too picky about those. Right here, it's kind of hard to see with the lighting I'm in and the black phone, but we have your famous OnePlus uh, alert slider so you can do mute vibrate and ring um, right there on the phone you don't have to take it out you don't have to wake it up or anything like that to change that over here we have your volume rocker and your power button back over here on the right hand side on the bottom of the phone we have your speaker USB-C and your sim tray right there um, so that is the OnePlus 10 Pro 5G. Again, this is the North American model because there is a difference. Um, so that is the North American model right there. I do have some cases I will be checking out in a future video, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, we have a Caseology um, Athlex case for the 10 Pro, so we're going to check that out. And I also have the Spigen Ultra Hybrid um, case right there in the black and clear. So we're gonna be checking these out. I'm gonna do separate videos on each one of these cases just because it's a little bit easier for people looking for cases to find them. Um, but those are the cases right there. I'm Conlon with Tech Out. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments section below. I also have a Discord down in the description. Um, if you join that, I do post some exclusive wallpapers and stuff like that there, or at least links to wallpapers I'm using because people are always asking about those. Um, so check the Discord out. You can talk to community members, get support, and extra stuff down there. As always, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and have a great day.